Hello, everybody. Pally Time here. Welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. We're taking a look at Artanis today. This is day two of my recording session. And uh, I was going to play something else today on Twitch just to just to take a break. But you know what? You got to get back on the horse. You, if you get bit by a shark, you got to go back in the ocean at some point, right? Otherwise, you're just going to fear the ocean. And yesterday, I got bit by Quick Match. I got bit hard. It took chunks out of me. But I slept well, I've recovered, and we're going back in. Artanis is a character that has seen a rise in popularity since these high PvE-focused maps have come out. So, you know, you got your Battlefield of Eternity. He's really good at ripping through targets with Amateur Opponent. He did receive a rework in late July of this year. And um, I say rework kind of loosely. They rearranged some of his talents and then added more functionality onto his talents. He wasn't really picked outside of situations where he could use Amateur Opponent. And I think the intention of Blizzard was to just bring him back onto the map a little bit. Now, Artanis has not always been a force to be reckoned with. He was added into the game, I have it written down, on October 20th. 2015 and he was okay he was all right wait am i crazy did i just remember could you not do the swap when he was added chat am i losing my mind it's been so long okay so when he was added into the game when he was added into the game, no wonder no one fucking played him. It was literally only Tim and Tantalus. They were the only ones. He had Blade Dash, where he kind of boomerangs himself out, and then he comes back. And then he has Phase Prism, that allows him to swap positions with, with an enemy hero. You could not use these talents together, and I th always thought it was ridiculous. And it's been so long ago that I forgot it was even like that. Wow. Anyway, uh, his rework was giving him a little bit more utility on some of these talents, giving some things, you know, extra benefit. They moved uh, Nexus Blades down. He no longer has that at 20, and they named it something else. Uh, and they tried to buff up his level 4 talent tier quite a bit because Sealed Surge... She whoa. Whoa, that's hard. Shield Surge was always overperforming with the other two. So he has a way to get armor now. Uh, which was still underperforming and they buffed it. Uh, and he has a way to get a ton of cooldown reduction on shield battery. I thought this would be doing a little bit better over on Hot Slogs. I looked and Shield Surge is still the best one. It's still the best one. He is sitting at a 52.5% win rate as of right now, though, which is not too bad at all. Also, we should have a viewer game for our Tannis going up on the channel as well. If that's not up already, let me know because it was a fun game and we got some really good purifier beam value without any further ado Our time has come. <laughs> i planned that <laughs> oh i'm so good at this game also he may have been too quiet but he said our time has come all right ladies all right. and gents webcam down board. here down down all right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Alterac Pass today. <laughs> How's our volume, team? Is it okay? I just boosted it because it was too quiet yesterday. Uh, the friendly team, Artanis, Thrall, Mephisto, Varian, and Lili. The enemy team, Thronda, Urspurundur, Asmodan, Nazebo, Sonya, and Anubarak. Now, I have been talking about how good Amateur Opponent is, but I think I'm going to go for Seasoned Marksman anyway. I want to brawl. I want to farm and I want to brawl. You know what helps me win games? Getting XP. When no one else will! The God Swap to start it out, boys! Come on! Oh, no kill, though. No kill. Hold on, we'll just go in for round two. Don't even need to go in for round two. Ah, oh, fucked it up. That's okay. Now I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right, heading up to the top lane, boys. We're gonna be our solo lane, or maybe we'll swap here. 
I was thinking about it. Okay, solo lane, solo lane, solo lane. Focus, focus, focus. Um, I'm going season marksman because in a bunch of our games yesterday, we were falling behind. <laughs> we were falling behind on XP. And I don't want to be the reason we fall behind on XP today. So we're going to hyper focus on that. I'm going to make sure. How did I miss that? What? What? I'm going to make sure that I'm at least contributing. All right. So those swaps that you were seeing, what those are is me hitting my Q ability and then immediately throwing out my E ability. And it allows you to reposition people behind you. Is it really that effective? No, not really, but it looks fancy. It looks fancy. You gotta convince people that you know what you're fucking doing when you play Artanis. Which is what I'm trying to do here. I didn't know those minions were walking up to the tower. I thought that was gonna be a good swap. Uh, season Marksman, how it works, just in case you don't know, whenever minions die nearby, you gain some attacks, uh, attack damage. So I think every like five minions that die nearby, you gain attack damage. And we're going to be auto attacking all the time on Artanis. So that's going to add up pretty quick. And hopefully by the end of the game, we're going to be dealing some pretty good damage to these guys. Now I want to clear this lane really fast and then go back to my base to get some mana before this objective starts. We must retreat. You gonna come check this bush, bud? Uh, we're gonna go for sealed, shield surge. Why am I having such a hard time saying that? That's level four. Uh, so if you've never seen his abilities before, his Q ability boomerangs you forward and then sends you back to where you started. It's called blade dash, I think. Yep. Uh, our W ability is called Twin Blades. This resets our auto attack timer, which is important if you're trying to maximize damage. And... Come on, throw. There you go, bud. Proud of you. And uh, our E ability is called the Psionic... Sci or Phase Prism. I thought it was Psionic something. And the Phase Prism is what we're using to swap positions with enemy combatants, uh, which is pretty fun, as I'm sure you could tell already. Now, you do put yourself in harm's way, but don't worry, because Artanis has a pretty good trait for dealing with things like that. His trait allows him to generate a shield for himself. We don't want a channel. Generate a shield for himself on a cooldown. It's a pretty long cooldown, but every time you auto attack, it's gonna be reducing the cooldown of the shield. So, even though it's 20 second cooldown, if we're able to deal consistent damage, we're actually able to get that health back pretty fast. Now this shield only comes into play once. <laughs> oh yeah, boys, today's a new day. Today's a new day. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pick up follow through here. Which has actually been performing really well, according to Hot Slogs. For Artanis, I thought follow through was going to be kind of meh. But it's it seems like, it's, for whatever reason, it's, it's going kind of well. We're going for a very auto attack focused build here. Very, very, very auto attack focused. Okay. Let's see if she moves. Okay. Proud of you. Proud of you. Your head's on straight, you're paying attention. I like that. Don't you put that shit on me, though. Don't you put that hunter's mark on me. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can go help out in the middle lane. Looks like they're having more fun down there than I'm having. Hey, bud. Good taunt from Varian as well. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. We're gonna go get health. Yeah, I can stay, never mind. All right, back up to the top lane. We're sitting at 13 stacks. I don't know if that helped or hurt. 
I'm gonna try to cut her off this way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good time, man. Hey, Lily. If I ever ignore you in game, it's because I literally don't see chat. Unless someone's complaining. And then it's the only thing I can see. If you say nice things, I'm, it's invisible to me. Uh oh. I think I'm okay. Go back in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boys. I like my team. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for the purifier beam. The pure fire beam is not the best choice, but we have a taunt. Can can you taunt whatever I purify? Because that would just be excellent. That would just be excellent. I hope he does it. Okay. Let's clear this out. Uh, team? Kit, 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 kit. We're all right, we're all right, we're all right. <sighs> um. Okay. I think, I think I'm chilling. I think I'm, ch I'm trying really hard this game. That swap. And I don't really feel like I'm talking about the history of the character at all. I kind of covered the most important parts of my intro. He's gotten a rework. He never used to be able to swap, which is like the core component of his gameplay now. Uh, and in July, he got a rework that optimized his talents a bit. Let me swap her back. Go in on this side. Uh, we're backing up. I kind of wanted to stay just to try to contest this. Still contesting, still contesting, still contesting. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it! Damn it! Seriously though, think about how long I was trading in there with three minions and three heroes hitting me. Think about that kind of sustain. It's difficult to get that in this game. Self-sustain like that is hard to come by. And Artanis just kind of excels at it. He's just kind of really fucking good at it. I tried really hard to, to get that point. So, uh, at level four, this was always his best talent. They tried to buff these other two to compete, but it doesn't really seem like that has been successful. He does have some interesting talents at level 13 now. Uh, Graviton Vortex is one of them, uh, where you can get cooldown reduction. Go let Varian know I have this. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that beam value! I hope they channel. Good, 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 good. What a close objective. I'm gonna go for triple strike though. This is going to allow my auto attack to hit three, or my, my twin blades to hit three times. This does a few things for you. <laughs> Boys! I'm here to win today! Let's go. Alright. This does a few things for you. First of all, it makes you hit three times, obviously, which is really fucking good. Uh, especially when you have Seasoned Marksman, which is going to be increasing your attack damage anyway. Secondly, it 
can proc your shield cooldown reduction faster, which is obviously good for staying alive and has direct synergy with our other talents as well. <laughs> we recall right here. <laughs> Don't recall in the bush, he'll dunk the bush. He'll fucking dunk the bush. You gotta recall in the middle of the fucking lane. <laughs> Look, he's looking for me! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, now, I do really like Titan Killer. Titan Killer is really good, especially when they have a pretty beefy front line like this. But, Nexus Blades was taken from level 20 and recalled Blades of the Templar. And I just wanted to try that out to see how I like it, because we could actually get another talent at level 20 now. That was almost me dying. And I think with our attack speed on top of our attack damage from Seasoned Marksman, this could actually have a shit ton of synergy. Uh, and I wanted to try it out. Damn it. Ugh. So basically, uh, Blades of the Templar increased attack speed by 30%, basic attack slow by 20% as well for one point. Two, five seconds. Wow. I can... Wow. That also has, obviously, synergy with our uh, cooldown reduction on our shield as well, and I can already feel the effects of that. That's pretty fun. Are they just pushing top? Yo, I'm keeping up with damage on Mephisto, boys. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. We're at 27 stacks in our season marksman. There's a pretty big wave down to the bottom lane. Uh, the friendly team's two levels up right now. Two levels up right now. Like I said at the beginning of the game, we could have gone for amateur opponent just in case the enemy team does get the objective. We would be able to kill it significantly faster, especially with the triple strike and basically with all the same abilities we have now. Uh, we went for a build that, or all the same talents we have now, excuse me. We went for a build that's focused on dealing hero damage a little bit more than what I think you might normally do. Uh, but it's working out. It's working out real good. No complaints from me, boys. No complaints from me at all. So there are several different kinds of swaps you can do. There's the one I showed off at the beginning of the game where you throw someone back into your team even farther, just like that. And you do that by hitting Q and immediately throwing your Q away from the target and immediately hitting E towards them. Uh, there's a swap you can do where you Q towards someone and immediately throw your E. Think of this as a really long charge. This is basically your gap closer to that target rather than pulling them away from where they currently are. Uh, and that looks like this. Never mind, no, it doesn't. But the idea is right at the end of your W, you want to hit your E, so you're in melee range from that point on. Uh, there's the God Swap, where you wait until the boomerang is pulling you back to your starting location, and then you throw the E out, and that's when you swap people, like, across the screen. So there's several different ways to do it. It's, it's really good, intuitive kind of play style. It allows for a lot of expression as well, which I think is fun, if you're able to land the abilities. <laughs> you didn't leap fast enough! Uh, also, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but there's a little subtle thing you need to do on Artanis to, to get more damage out of him. And that simply comes down to auto-attacking before you use your W ability if you're able to do so. Four months already, oh! damn son. Oh, keep up the good work, pal. Damn it! Uh, now that being said, uh, Artanis used to have a talent called Zealot Charge 
which allowed him to gap close. That's part of his baseline kit now. It's been like that for a little while. Um, I can't chase that anymore. Maybe I can. <laughs> um, so the Zealot Charge does allow you to gap close a little bit. Do you see the little charge we did there? It does allow you to gap close just a tad. Um, and you can use your W just for that little bit of gap closing. But what you really want to do is optimally you want to attack and then immediately lose. Oh, he has Zealot Charge again? You want to attack and then immediately use your uh, W ability because it resets your attack timer. So here's one, two, three, four. Four attacks basically in two seconds. Uh, and when you go with follow through, when you go with season marksman, uh, those things when really, really fucking add up. You know, that's a lot of extra damage if you're able to do that consistently throughout the course of a match. Uh, so that's Artanis. He hasn't changed much in the past year. Like I said, he did get that talent re redesign. Basically, they just kind of shuffled his talents around to make it, uh, make it um, flow differently. But, great character. Not a popular character, but a great character. Really, really fun. I, d I don't think I could have done much better in that last game, to, to be honest. That's not four attacks in two seconds, that's four attacks in .8 seconds. Hey, you're right. You're right. Uh, so the talents I use in today's video, Season Marksman with Shield, Surge, Follow Through, Purifier Beam, Triple Strike, Blades of the Templar, which I really liked. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that talent. Really fucking good. Uh, and then I went for Target Purified. Just because I didn't have to. You could also go for Plasma Burn, which is kind of okay. I don't know, maybe it's better than I think. Because 70 damage per second when your shield is active is a lot of damage. Um, and you already kind of had a Zealot Charge built in, but this just increases its effectiveness a little bit more. I don't think you need that Zealot Charge if you pick up the Blades of the Templar, because I was able to keep up with my targets no problem once I started attacking them. Like, that felt really good. This was um, not my first time playing Artanis. We played him yesterday since his rework, but uh, my second game with him since his rework, and I really liked it. Really, really, really liked it. So... Uh, as far as that rework goes, that gets a thumbs up from me, and I hope I get a thumbs up from you <laughs> on this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with Arfis Minifil. Okay, bye.